La diffusion vient de démarrer. Tous les participants sont en mode écoute seul. Hello everyone, thank you for joining uh, us for this webinar. Uh, today, Stéphane Chazal will introduce you uh, the Monarch feature of Sigfox. And Stéphane is an expert uh, in that feature because he was the project uh, manager. Stéphane, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. So, hello everyone. Thank you for participating to this webinar about the Sigfox feature named Monarch. And I'm very glad to welcome you. Okay, so um, this is the summary of this presentation. Um, first, I will make a quick reminder about the Sigfox vision because it's really important to understand Monarch. Uh, secondly, I will describe why did we develop the Monarch functionality. Third, I will try to explain uh, what is Monarch and I will try to do it in the simplest possible way. Um, fourth, how does Monarch work? Fifth, uh, what is the current Monarch ecosystem and especially chip modules and devices? Sixth, I will describe uh, how to implement the Monarch feature and what are the impacts uh, on your device. Seventh, I will present the two most popular examples of Monarch use cases, uh, Michelin for B2B business and uh, Louis Vuitton for B2C business. And finally, we will end this webinar with a quick uh, question and answer session. Okay, so this is for the summary. But first, please let me introduce myself. Um, so I'm Stéphane Chazal, currently project manager at Sigfox. Uh, I joined the company two years ago. Uh, I'm in charge of Monarch activities since the very first radio test, piloting the recent industrialization phase two. Uh, and this is what I look like when I work very seriously. Uh, okay, so please, guys, this is my first public webinar. Please be nice with me. <laughs> okay, so the Sigfox vision. Um, as you probably already know, Sigfox is not just another telecom network. Um, Sigfox is a unique vision of the present and the future. One global network using one global contract. And this is really important. It's a game changer vision, opening amazing market opportunities divided in two main categories. The first one, the globe total, the globe total object. Wherever your device is physically, indoor, outdoor, in France or in Brazil, for example, it still can communicate without any human interaction. Second opportunity, a single hardware deployed all around the world. You can now choose to optimize your manufacturing costs by making a unique project with a unique hardware design capable of communicating in US, in Europe, or in Asia, everywhere. Of course, there is a small technical challenge. As you can see on your screen, the telecommunication frequencies allowed are different in many regions of the world. Fortunately for us, we can group these regulations in radio configuration. One, two, three, four, five, six. Multiple radio configuration is better, but it's still a challenge to keep our promise. How can my device talk around the world? And this is exactly why we developed the Monarch feature, to keep the Sigfox promise. So now the question is, what is Monarch? This is an impressive transition, I know. In fact, here at Sigfox, we have a sentence which uh, Ludovic Lemoyne repeats every time. Keep it simple. Monarch is a feature developed with this Sigfox spirit. There is no hardware impact on device and the network. The protocol used is still exactly the same the Sigfox legacy protocol. And we definitely had to create a feature that does not drain the battery too much. And it was really, really a big challenge. How does Monarch work? 
the base stations broadcast a periodical signal, a special beacon dedicated for each radio configuration. The period between two broadcasts is five minutes, plus or minus 10 seconds. The device will be triggered to start listening the beacon and to catch it, waiting a maximum of five minutes. Sorry. And this is it. This is how Monarch work. This is pretty simple, right? But not every base station will emit these beacons. We choose to develop Monarch on a limited number of them using a point of interest strategy. Why? Because this feature is useful only when you enter in a new radio configuration. And as you know, we definitely care about device consumptions. Today, you can catch Sigfox Beacon in 340 major ports and 280 major airports in the world. And this list is growing every day following customer requests. Also, Sigfox provides now a coverage as a service offer to enable the Monarch capabilities for special point of interest like manufacturer warehouses. And for example, on your screen, you can see here the current Monarch coverage in Japan and South Korea. You have ports and airports. So now let's talk about the Monarch ecosystem. ST Microelectronics recently made available the first chip fully certified for Sigfox Monarch. And a few weeks later, some module makers developed modules based on this ST chip. Lighton and Wysol, for example, commercialized solution mixes, mixing Bluetooth Low Energy and Sigfox. And finally, device and solution makers like Sensolus, Alps, or Axible provide Monarch enabled and Sigfox ready certified devices. So with this ecosystem, how to implement Monarch? The first way and the fastest, the Sigfox protocol library is embedded in Sigfox verified modular designs. This solution is plug and play since the Sigfox, Sigfox protocol library is integrated and validated with the manufacturer's API. The second way, the chip on board approach. ST Microelectronics delivers the Sigfox protocol library with Monarch capabilities directly flashed in their SOC, so system on chip. As in the first way above, the Sigfox protocol library is, de is delivered with the manufacturer's API. However, unlike the first way, the radio frequency and protocol testing is mandatory when designing a device with a chip on port approach, chip on board approach, sorry. For all available references, you can check out the Sigfox partner network. What about the device impacts? As we already mentioned, there is absolutely no hardware impact, but your device has to be designed to use Sigfox multi-radio configurations, the radio and the antenna. Not every radio configurations are mandatory. If the device communicates in France and US, for example, it can use Monarch to scan and catch only these two beacons. Of course, the device needs to be Sigfox Multi-RC certified. One of the most important points to understand today is that you have to be very, very smart in your strategy used to listen the beacons. This is really the key point to optimize your battery consumption. For example, you can detect an airplane landing or a porch crane for containers. And the last impact is that to acquire, to, sorry, is that to acquire the very first time reference, the device will potentially have to listen a maximum of five minutes, which will drain the battery. But as the beacon broadcast is periodic, you can optimize all the next listening windows.
Well, uh, no, you are monarchic first. Uh, I'm convinced that you definitely want to use it to prove its value. So Sigfox uh, also developed a dedicated library for the Sensit and the geolocation dashboard. So please do not hesitate to contact and challenge our excellent adoption team. You're welcome, guys. And though, and now, let me introduce the two famous use cases of the Monarch feature. The first one with Michelin, a French company shipping millions of containers every year, all around the world. So this is a B2B example. The challenge was to track these containers in real time. Of course, not over the ocean, not now. Um, Argon Consulting offers an end-to-end -end tracking solution, notifying Michelin whenever the signal reaches sea coasts and give insight on the, on the container's position. And this information is really key for the lean production and to reduce their stock. Now the second famous use case is the luggage tracker of Louis Vuitton. It's a B2C example. The challenge was to offer a premium luggage tracking service for their consumers, available worldwide and especially in all key airports. Um, Axible manufactured the device and customers can use the LV Pass Mobile application to be immediately alerted when their luggage arrives in the airports. And we know that this situation is sometimes painful because not always uh, at the same time as you arrival, your luggage will arrive on the same airport. So um, this extremely small casing, uh, a lipstick size, offers an incredible minimum battery life of six months. This is really impressive, guys. And this is it. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I think you can now send your question and uh, we will try to answer. Thank you very much, Stefan. Um, I have a small question for the audience here. Um, I'm willing to, to understand uh, what kind of population we, are, we have here. Are you uh, device solution makers that are willing to integrate the feature? Are you willing to purchase Sigfox solutions having the feature or just interested in uh, knowing uh, more about what Sigfox is doing, uh, which is the third answer? Um, while you are answering to the poll, uh, I, I uh, invite you to log your questions uh, in the right section. You see that you can type uh, in the questions uh, section or if you prefer to ask directly your question to Stefan, you can also raise your hand and I will open your mic and you will be able to speak to Stefan directly. So it's up to you uh, whether you prefer to type it or pr you prefer to, uh, to ask orally your question, uh, please feel free uh, to raise your hand. And I will soon uh, close the poll. So last, Last chance to answer. I'm closing soon. Okay, we're done. Okay, so any question from the audience? Do not hesitate to raise your hand or, or log your question. Um, looks like we are having one here. I, I think you forgot an answer. Maybe people are here for me. Also, yeah, that's possible. <laughs> Sorry about that. It was the else uh, answer then. Uh, so will you make will you make the presentation slide available? Uh, I can answer this directly. Uh, yes, the uh, right after the call, uh, maybe on Monday, we will thank you. Uh, we will send you a thank you email uh, with the slide deck, and we will also give you the invitation to the next webinar, which will be on security. So yes, definitely anyone who's attending this call will receive the slide deck. And then we have uh, uh, another question from Francois. What is the price of Monarch? Uh, and is it invoiced like Atlas? So uh, uh, Stefan, if you have some, uh, some sort of answer to that, 
Um, okay, so um, I encourage you to contact directly uh, uh, the sales team, but uh, in what I know, uh, Monarch is free to use today because uh, you have enough cost to developing multi-RC devices. So um, Monarch is here to provide solution and not to be sell. Okay. So I think it's totally free. So short answer uh, is just uh, an enabler for uh, having more uh, Sigfox solutions alive. 